Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another gardening video. So if you remember my last planting video for fall, we did pansies, mums. I don't even remember. We've planted all kinds of fabulous things, flowering cabbage, some over here, some down there. The pansies that we planted in that video, it was about three, four weeks ago. Well, three weeks ago, um, are doing great after their haircut and bloom, bloom, blooming. I'll put in a little clip of the burgundy ones up by the driveway. They look fabulous. Um, they're definitely gonna be beautiful all fall and winter, but I think next spring, especially, they're gonna really fill in. So I told you in that video that I was going to wait until November and be good with my budget to buy more pansies to fill in this front spot where the vinca needs to go and where the tall zinnias are. Those crack me up. They were supposed to be short. And they're almost as tall as the freaking tree. Um, and so I was good. It's November 1st. I waited. I waited until November. And I found a flat of these really pretty um, blue, pink, mauve kind of mixed pansies at my local nursery. I was looking for more of a pink, but I haven't been able to find just a dusty rose kind of pink pansy all by itself. This mix is the best that I found. And honestly, like I'm not super mad about that because I do think it'll help marry the, I have the light blue ones around the bird bath and over on this side of the door and the mob up there. This mix is blues, pinks, and mobs. So I think it'll just kind of mix those all together into one pretty bouquet. So we're unfortunately gonna go ahead and rip out the vinca. I didn't think the ones we transplanted were going to live. They didn't. They just quickly withered. And the ones that did look nice, there's one or two in there that still look nice, but they are on the edge, edge of not nice anymore. And so I'm going to go ahead and pull them and plant these pansies so that they can really get rooted and established before our first freeze. Typically our first freeze here is about November 15th. So we've got about 15 days, give or take, obviously. So. I'm going to just be ripping out these pansies, pansies, we'll be ripping out these vinca, putting them in the compost pile, and then I'll lay out the pansies and plant them. If I have enough, I will also do where the zinnias are. They had two more six packs at the nursery that I didn't get. I just bought a flat. So if I had to, I could run up to the nursery and grab those other two six packs, but I'm hoping to just get it done with what I've got. So we'll see. Let's get started because I don't know if you noticed, but it rained like crazy all night. Last night, everything in the garden looks beautiful today because it got a good drink. Kind of wish I'd had time to plant these yesterday, but is what it is. Vinny, are you having fun? You having fun in the garden? She says, this is the best. This is the best. She's just rooting around in the grass. She thinks she's having the best day ever, huh? Hey, you want to rip out some vinca? She says, no. It's your job, mom. flowers while they still have flowers. The alternative is to leave them until they look brown and gross like that side and that's not fun either.
Now you may have noticed that the zinnias look awful, brown, pathetic, not a speck of color on them. And that's because before I started filming, I went and cut any fresh flowers that were still on there and I brought them in and put them and just a few little glasses on my windowsill. Not a fancy arrangement, but you know, no reason to waste them. If Binkos could really work in a vase, I'd save these too. Cleaning out my lambs here just kind of as I get to them in the garden. And this one had a bunch of crap under it still. tell you, I was cleaning out under this big one and I felt not leaf, but a firm little body. And I freaked out. I was like, oh my God, this is like a mouse or a squirrel or something. And I screamed and I threw it and it was awful. It was Lammy. My, my dog's squeaky toy. I don't know if she hit it under there or if it washed down, but Baby left squeaky out. This good old Lammy. Thing just about gave me a heart attack. All right, let's start seeing. So, I really want these lambs to fill in better. For some reason, they are just been struggling all season. I have even transplanted a few lambs in, lambs in, lambs ears in over there. And it's just not quite doing it. And then this one, like, I might need to take some transplants off this one. All right, Betty, let's start doing the pansies. Yeah, yeah, pansy time. Is this yours? Is this yours? No, we can put it, Mama. No, put it, Mama. Okay. Let's get the candies in. Candy time! Is that your candy, Candy time! Candy time! You doing a pansy dance? Yeah! Candy dance!
So these two sticks are my Super Junior bubble guns that were I had in here last year. Sometimes they come back in my zone, so I'm not disturbing them. I'm just leaving them. We'll see what they do. liked their spot regardless that I didn't like their spot and they have seeded all over in here so I'm going to try to get as many of the little babies as possible otherwise I'm going to be pulling them all next year. Probably still be doing anyways. Surely that is not whole root system for this giant plant. Seems like it though. Shadow roots. Agapanthus, we transplanted from some of mom's plants last year that she divided for us. So they haven't bloomed, but I'm hoping next year should be their first year that they bloom for us. So this year, what was in front of them didn't really matter. But next year, I want to be able to see their blooms. So I definitely want short things up here. I wanted short things this year, but... Also, I'm going to give you a close-up in a second, but this little stick is one of my Super Tunia White, the snowdrops, snowball, snow white out, whatever it was. I had them in my pots this year, and they were beautiful, but once they were done and I replanted those pots with mums for fall, I cut them back and I planted them out in the landscape to see if they'll come back next year like the bubblegum. Well, the bubblegum still looked like sticks. 
These are green hot. <laughs> so maybe the bubble gum won't come back and the white ones will. Who knows? Our nursery has a whole wall of bubble gum. Like it's beautiful. It's got to be at least 20 feet, three, four plants deep. And it comes back every year glorious. So I know they come back in my zone. But I've seen it. Those ivy plants are happy. They're starting to grow out from where I planted them, even. Okay, that's better roots. I'm gonna be fighting these here for a while, aren't I? all my tags because I did harvest a bunch of seed from these zinnias to replant next year in the back bed of the garden not in the front so we'll be we'll be replanting these just not in the front border so all right oh that looks nice nice and neat all right, let's get some pansies put in. There's your rooster friend, Betty. You guys hear the rooster? If you follow me on Instagram, you know that the rooster got in my backyard um, last week, week before last, and my dogs tried to eat him. And Betty, my little Yorkie pansy girl, chased him into my laundry room. Where he hung out for a while. I'd call someone to come rescue him. I do a lot of things, but rooster removal is not one of them.
All right, so I think I'm going to start right here, swoop down in front of the agapanthus and around, and that will be good. Good. This will use three packs, so I could keep coming up here and over right to here, use one more pack. But I do have a planter on my porch that has a pretty fern and it has some Silver Falls Dicandrus. I never say that right. Um, and it had snapdragons that in the shade went all season. They're still green, but they're not blooming anymore. I'm going to cut them back, fertilize them, see if they live till spring. But I'd like to tuck at least a couple pansies around the bottom of the snapdragons where I had violas that did not survive. So I think I might do that with at least one pack and then see, because I should have two packs left after this. If I only have one, I'll use it up there. If I have two, I'll keep going here. But all of this in here is going to die back over the winter. So this little lands here is the last bit of green we'll kind of have over the winter. So I'm not trying to do everything. Okay, we're all done. That was a quick and easy project. Didn't do much. I just wanted to put a little bit more color in these two front, front, front spots. And that's really all I'm doing for fall. We'll probably come back middle of the month, pull out the rest of the annuals, dead things, make sure I reached all the lambs ear and just do a final fall cleanup. Do things like cut back the Angelonia. There we go, around our little post there, um, things that will come back next year, cut them back and then clean out what we need to clean out. But we got all the pansies in. I'm very happy. This um, cotton candy mix, I've looked at seeds for this, so I was really happy to find it, even if it wasn't exactly the pink mix that I've looked at. And as these guys go to seed next year, I will probably collect seeds from them to see if I can't restart my own but i have a bunch of viola seeds that i saved from last fall spring kind of season all i did was plant some little pinkish blue they, they look violet to me but they red pink on the tag um violas so i might seed those a few other places around the garden and just see what happens just direct seed them um but i'm gonna give you guys a closer look and then i will be back for the november garden top haul tour later this month bye this little bed wasn't even here last year and this whole bed wasn't here at the beginning of this season so it's definitely filled out in at least one season but i will be very excited to see it in a couple seasons as it's grown so far these maroon pansies like they are loving it here i had a hard time all season keeping any annuals growing here. They just didn't love this spot. So I think maybe I need something shadier because these cold shade pansies, like they're loving it. So then we've got all our cotton candy ones right here. So you can see they have a whole range of colors from this beautiful purpley blue to this lighter white with kind of a purple pink center to this ruffly light blue, to this beautiful purpley mauve color. And then there is the tiniest ones, these little light pink, light, light pink. So I love them. They are smaller plants than the maroon ones and then the blue ones, they're probably the smallest of the three. Blue in the middle and the mauve, which are doing great, were the biggest. So I don't think I'm going to cut these back. I don't think they're big enough to worry about it. 
And since I got the maroon ones from Walmart, got these from Marvin's, got these from my local nursery, and they had great root systems. They were taken care of really well, whereas the other ones weren't so hot. So I cut those back and that helped a lot. You can see they're really settling in. These I think are gonna be just fine. So I'm not gonna cut them back. A lot of them are already like, this is where I would have cut them back too. I would probably just come in and cut back the blooms that are already there. I'm not gonna worry about that. There's not too many blooms. So let's come over here in front of our pretty pink mums. I love it. So here is some of those pink ones all grown up. They're so pretty. So pretty. You can see light blue. There's some darker blue. It's a pretty mix. We'll keep y'all updated as they grow, as they pick up. I wish everything was freshly composted, but I'm not composting this fall. They'll get composted in the spring because I am planning to replace all my soaker hoses with drip in these beds. So I don't want to top them off with new soil. I just want to let all this soil kind of settle for the winter. You can see the soaker hoses there. And then this bed, this bed, hey bitty bitty. And this bed are getting new drip irrigation next spring. So, all right. We will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Say bye, Betty. Bye-bye. Quick update on the blue ones over here. You can see they are actually starting to bloom. And my cabbages are loving it over here, especially this big, beautiful purple one. So, just wanted to give you a little update. Look at all these pretty blue happy faces. I think this fern is going to completely take over this pot one day, but until then, I'm gonna keep underplanting them. So I put in three pansies, three pansies, and you can see in here the green. There's still some snapdragons on the edge and between there. So we'll see if they come back or not.